All right, so we are here with Katie Martin, who is working on a tourism project with her students at NACI. Can you tell me about the overall project? Yeah, for sure. So um, the tourism um, board in Nipah, Nipah Tourism Committee, has band together kind of with the school on this one and um, they found a grant so that they could help fund um, this project where we have our grade 11 12 students um, painting eight foot by eight foot murals um, two a year and then the idea is that these mural murals will go up around town to kind of decorate the town um, the first one that they do in the first semester Anybody from town could submit a photo that they think represents Nipah, and then the tourism committee selected a photo and the students painted it. And then the second one, the students put forth um, art proposals or design proposals, and the committee then chose the proposal they wanted. So the first one is kind of more um, kind of traditional, and then the second one is a little more creative. So where did the idea come from in the first place to do murals around town? Um, I just... I came to the committee with the idea, just wanted to decorate the town a little bit and get the kids to be a little bit more involved and to show off their work. They're so talented. Um, and if you get a chance to come into the school and see their work, you'd be blown away. So I just thought it was a good opportunity. And so there's two a year. So you have the first two. Yes. They're going to be unveiled, I believe it's June 11th, Yes, is the date yep. that they're going to be unveiled in some kind of uh, event. Yes. Do we know where the first two are going up? We don't yet. So we've so at this event, um, there's Bruce Brothers. They are providing um, hors d'oeuvres, so we're we've purchased hors d'oeuvres from them. And there's going to be sort of mocktails and then some live music. And it's just going to be from seven to nine at Arts Forward, and we're going to reveal the two murals. There's also kind of a silent auction, so we purchased. Um, 10 $100 gift cards from 10 local businesses, the first 10 that kind of replied back to us. Um, and just by coming in, you get a free ticket to have a chance to win one of them. So all of those business owners are um, kind of excited and they're hopefully most of them are coming to the event. So I'm thinking maybe some of the, or one of the murals might go to one of their businesses. We kind of right. thought business owners might want to see um, the subject matter before they decide. Before they commit to yeah, putting it on their commit. building. Yeah. But the idea is that they, the paintings will change over time. So once we get maybe 10 paintings up around town, we'll start again at the very first ones and redo them. So it is the, the idea is that it is kind of a tourist draw so people can come back to town um, and see what new paintings we've done. And also we're hoping to put them close enough to each other um, that you can kind of grab a coffee and then go for a, like a little walking tour. Yeah, a little outdoor sort of gallery. Yeah. That would be fantastic. Yeah. What has the student response been to doing this project? They love it. You know, I think what they like the most is just being able to paint that big. So I don't think mm -hmm. they have a chance very often to paint sort of an eight foot by eight foot piece. And they all kind of work on it together. So what we do is we just set it up in the back of the classroom. It's what I keep looking at over here that you can't see. Yeah. And we're keeping and, it a little uh, bit secret until yeah, it's unveiled. So secretive. Um, and anyways, so anytime they're done their project um, and have some free time, that's kind of where they go. And they just kind of put in their earbuds and work away. So... Um, they've, it's been a very collaborative, like they've worked together and if an area needs to be reworked, they, they have, they've been really good with each other on that. So it's been nice to see. And now you're doing two a year, so it'll be different 11 and 12 classes each year. Yeah. So um, is that sort of the idea to get that revol that uh, revolving skill set and revolving uh, participation in it? Yeah, definitely. And, and it, <coughs> our hope is to have kind of a little like plaque at the bottom with all the kids' names. So it's not yeah. mandatory, so yeah. there might be a couple kids per class that choose not to work on it. Um, I just have a list and say anybody that worked on the mural, come write your name. Um, but yeah, so the idea is that we can kind of honor them and put their name up around town so they see that they did that beautiful work. And so each year, do you think you're going to go through the same process of uh, a sort of a photograph from the community for the first one and a design from the classroom for the second one? I think so far that's the plan and it's worked really well this year. Um, and I think it's really nice to see the two different styles sort of, one mm -hmm. that's more, a little more realistic and one that's kind of more um, just artistic, I guess. So, yeah. I and think. did you get a lot of proposals from the students of things they wanted to paint large? <laughs> yeah, well, that was mandatory. They had to okay. submit a proposal. They got graded on their proposal, which is also a good practice for them to be able to <laughs> submit their idea and um, kind of in a more professional way. Um, yeah, some of the proposals were very funny, and uh, it was hard, really hard to choose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're probably going to go through that every year, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah.
<laughs> which is great. That's a good problem to have. So, so this is uh, uh, sort of really the first large scale art project I've seen happen in town. Do you have any ideas for others that you might like to see? Oh, so many ideas. <laughs> yeah. My, um, my friend Megan too, she has all kinds of ideas. So we have lots of stuff in the works right now with Arts Forward and stuff that's hopefully coming soon. So, so I would love to see more public art in town as an art yeah. lover myself. Yeah. So that's fantastic to hear. Yeah, definitely. Um, thank you for your time today. Do you have any other thoughts about the project that you would like to share with our viewers? Um, I don't think so. I think just hopefully anybody that's um, around on that Saturday, uh, June 11th, come check out Arts Forward, come check out the murals, give the kids a round of applause, whatever kids show up, um, yep. so we can, yeah, just be proud of them and show off their work. We'll have some other student work there, too, to kind of look uh, great. at. Great, okay. Yeah, um, but yeah, I think that's it. Just come and be a part of it. Great. It's free. It's free. Free food, free drinks, beautiful art. You can't lose with that. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, thanks.